G'day everyone, Billy here from the beautiful southern region of the great southern of Western Australia. So fellas, just thought I'd give you a bit, bit of a tour of my current summer vegetable garden and talk about why you should grow vegetables and do other stuff. So anyway, so let's get started guys. So I'm no expert, as you can see here, these are my tomatoes fellas and they're not looking the best. These ones I'll be ripping up very, very shortly. So apparently, just even around my area, guys, tomatoes have been a bit of a failure this year. But my neighbour, Chris, these tomatoes are massive. He's must have beautiful soil. But anyway, fellas, so just a pumpkin growing here. Some more over there. No expert, fellas, like I just said. I've only been doing this basically for the last year or so. And it's a lot of hard work guys, but I tell you what, it's really, really rewarding and satisfying. So there's some watermelons that are coming up. These tomatoes here are a lot more healthier. And uh, so most of these seeds are all organic seeds guys, what I've got from Eden Seeds, edenseeds.com.au. So I've got quite a few different varieties of vegetables growing at the moment. Like I say, fellas, the soil's not the best, so I'm kind of learning as I go. And there's been a lot of failure, a lot of failure in growing my vegetables, fellas, especially my corn. But we'll sh speak about my corn in a minute, fellas, but we'll show you a nice eggplant right here. So a beautiful eggplant flower to say. And we've got a nice size eggplant in here somewhere. What's coming up right there. You see that? Beautiful eggplant. So I'd be making using that fellas for making beautiful pizzas and so forth Italian style dishes, I'm a pretty good cook um, but yeah like I say fellas my corn this lot of corn has been a failure so this is just GMO type corn from the shop and also obviously the soil's not the best here so basically this container here is just full of all my compost scraps and it goes deep down in the soil um, but yeah big failure in regards to growing my corn but I'm still getting a Few nice little corn cobs but obviously they're not formed all the way but I'll show you some better corn as we go along so I've got cucumbers growing here too fellas apple cucumber right there um, probably in that bathtub there I'm going to plant potatoes I did try and plant some broccoli or cauliflower here but they never sprouted against that brick wall and uh, Right in this container fellas, this is another big failure. Planted a heap of uh, organic seeds. Oh, and I can't remember what, what I actually planted, but um, hardly any of them sprouted. I'm only just getting mushrooms coming up right now at the moment, a lot of mushrooms. But that's probably a capsicum there, probably. Corn. My magpie nipper destroyed this one. And that's only a tiny one so like I say fellas the soil's probably not the best in this one but we'll fix that up and replant more stuff and try again never give in so just right here fellas is just some uh, sweet potato when I'm growing some nice sweet potato that's coming along pretty well some beautiful sweet potato here it's a lot better this one here and I've got beans also what are coming up right here guys and uh, as a lot of you fellas are aware bloody vegetables it's absolutely disgusting the price of vegetables fellas um, like for example I'll show you I've got some beautiful spinach growing right here but I went to the shop the other day just when I go shopping I always have a look at the prices just to see how much stuff is but just for a little bunch of spinach like this here I don't know, probably five leaves of spinach, maybe ten. It's four dollars just for a little bunch of spinach, fellas. And, you know, I honestly, fellas, in the last probably probably eight months or so, I haven't had to buy any vegetables whatsoever, except for, <laughs> except, guys, except for the occasional onion, and that's about it. Just, and maybe some garlic, onion, garlic, but I and just maybe a couple of other things but very very rarely you know just the basics for cooking you always need onions in cooking stews and casseroles and curries and 
so forth. So, but yeah, this spinach right here, fellas, has lasted me well over a, a year. I think I said probably about eight months I've been doing this. It could be a year, a year to eight months, fellas. But like I say, fellas, I've saved hundreds of dollars by just growing my own vegetables. This is another one that's just been here, planted for over a year, and it just keeps on. Probably a spinach, and I just rip off the leaves and, you know, make beautiful salads out of these leaves or cooking and so forth. When the seeds come up, I just break them off, and they just keep on growing. So when it starts to seed, I just rip off the seeds, but, you know, heaps of parsley and herbs and so forth. Same goes with my broccoli and cauliflower fellas. I just use all these leaves for um, cooking spinach, I mean cooking salads and so much more. I'm actually going to be planting a heap today fellas, so I'm going to just show you that very shortly. So right here's a bit of a herb garden, probably there's mint there, um, coriander, parsley, uh, what else is there? Can't think at the moment, fellas. I always forget what I'm going to say. All my videos are always unrehearsed, guys. Basil, probably. So much more. Um, but we'll take you over to my other garden, fellas. I'm feeling struggling today, fellas, big time. Bit of anxiety. Takes a toll on you, fellas, when you're uploading videos, talking about your own private life and so forth, knowing people are who know you are watching so this is our chili I think it's nice chilies we're going there corn this corn's looking a lot better or your spinach there capsicum maybe and this corn right here is looking beautiful fellas so this is going to be some nice corn right here so I did basically a a rotation of veg. I try and do a rotation of vegetables. So like, you know, I planted um, that original corn probably in November last year, and this corn probably only around, I don't know, a month ago. It's just amazing the size of it. It's only in a little container. Got some nice apple cucumbers coming up here. Nice apple cucumbers fellas, cherry tomatoes right here. So these are all carrots, lettuce, um, possibly another spinach there. I did plant more vegetables here fellas but they failed. Only seems one, one half of this tank is good soil <laughs> for some reason, the other half didn't work out. And this one here. Some other vegetables that I can't identify at the moment. So just basically little rainwater tanks, fellas, what I find out rubbish dumps. So I've got quite a few different types of vegetables, zucchinis and you know it, fellas, I've got heaps, I'll show you in a minute. But you know, you look at the price of these vegetables, guys, and you know you really, really gotta understand that these vegetables that we're buying in our shops are completely completely saturated in herbicides chemicals um, pesticides and everything else you know I'll give you a perfect example you go and buy a beautiful piece of broccoli at the shop I wouldn't say beautiful I mean it might look beautiful but look how big those broccolis are fellas look how big the vegetables are you're buying why are they so big you know, what are they putting in these, you know, what are they actually doing to these vegetables to make them so big? It's like, you know, when you buy an apple or an orange or a pear, it's all been sprayed with ammonia. It's all got special sprays on it to make it look nice and shiny, so it looks more appealing, and so much more. Right here, fellas, is another new fish pond I frog and tadpole pond what I kind of finished with the beautiful rocks I find, find out rubbish dumps and just here's another big rainwater tank what I'm making into a vegetable garden 
that shade there is going to get removed. So I'm probably going to plant a heap of onions here. Not too sure at the moment, guys. Um, but yeah, just really, really consider what are they actually putting in those vegetables to make them, you know, so big. It's pretty sad, fellas. It's pretty sad. So, and also, guys, like a lot of you people out there know, I mean, I kind of struggle. Not as, no way as bad as what I used to. Um, with depression, anxiety and so forth. But, you know, this has really, really saved me, fellas. You know, just keeping so active all the time and just working in my garden. And like I say, fellas, sometimes I really have to force myself to get outside to do it, especially when it's a cloudy day like this today. You know, it's still beautiful weather, about 25 degrees Celsius, guys, but come winter, then I really crash but last winter i did really really well and you know that's and found the motivation to start making my garden look beautiful and it's getting there slowly fellas you should have seen it what it looked like before you know but yeah but this like i say guys i mean if you fellas out there guys and girls really struggle and you're you know sitting inside bored Feeling depressed, depressed, anxiety, you struggle to get outside, go down the shops and so forth. You should really, really consider growing your own vegetables, guys. It's so much fun. You know, it's uh, so, so rewarding. If you've got kids and the kids are getting on your nerves, especially if they're really small kids, get them to help you. Imagine the education on learning how to grow veggies. They're never, ever going to forget that. You know, they're never ever going to forget the fun they had when they were growing beautiful homegrown veggies and all that kind of stuff. I've got no kids, guys. I wish I did, but but um, I know there's a lot of people out there, you know, the kids are getting up to mischief these days and they're playing video games all the time. But, but especially those younger kids, you know, they try and get them when they're in their only young, five or six years old and get them out in the garden helping out. They're going to be that keen and interested um, and it's just so rewarding and obviously fellas it's going to save you a lot a lot of money so I'll quickly show you you know just this is just some of the stuff I mean about 300 to 500 dollars and you can buy seeds what were last year for 10 years fellas if you wanted to buy you know you don't have to spend that much but it's just really, really important, guys. You know, our governments, fellas, our governments, they don't want us to be growing vegetables. They don't want us to be growing vegetables. They hate people like me and all the other people out there who grow their own beautiful organic vegetables. They'd rather people be buying stuff down the shops so they can make money and get all that GMO stuff in them. So... They want people eating GMO, fellas, nothing else. They don't want people eating beautiful organic vegetables. And I guarantee you, fellas, I did a video about this, not, I don't know, about a year ago. But I honestly, <laughs> me and my predictions, but I honestly reckon one day, you know, people are going to need a license to be able to grow vegetables. They're going to need a license, like, you know, $50 a year. I don't know. 10 to 50 dollars a year one day it'll happen fellas i promise you any money especially in australia guys we live in a pretty well controlled state and you need licenses for everything fishing you know if you want to go and catch some crabs the ocean at the rivers you need a license for that you need a license for every single bit of fishing Whereas around probably 10 or 15 years ago, it was all free. But, um, so anyway, guys, that's what I'm doing today. I'm planting a heap of vegetables in these beautiful trays. So I'm going to plant heaps today in trays, all different kinds. I don't know, around probably 20 to 30 different vegetables for the approaching winter. And, uh, yeah... 
So I just think about it, guys. I mean, I know a lot of you people out there are living in apartments, um, little units and flats and so forth. But even then, fellas, you can still grow beautiful vegetables. I live in a quarter acre block of land, guys, so I'm pretty pretty lucky. But, you know, you can grow beautiful vegetables, but, you know, get yourself some nice pots like that. You can grow carrots, onions, everything. Everything what people grow in the big rainwater tanks like what I've got, you can uh, grow in pots. So, and it, like I say, fellas, if you struggle with your board, watching too much youtube and on the internet 24 hours a day i know what it's like guys i know how addictive it is so what i do now is mainly when i get up i watch a few videos in the morning and then you know come around 10 or 10 o'clock in the morning i turn my computer off and don't go back there until about probably 7 30 8 o'clock at night because i was pretty badly addicted fellas to watching youtube videos um, so that's what I do now guys, I just turn my computer off and force myself outside and do things like usually Tuesdays, say Mondays to Thursdays I'm working my garden and Fridays, Saturday, Sundays I'm scrapping but even when I come back home I still go back and do stuff in my garden, raking leaves and just trying to keep it tidy fellas, it's a full time job it's a full-time job trying to keep this yard tidy, especially this beautiful big fig tree. It just covers a whole garden in leaves, and even seeing that gets overwhelming. So anyway, guys, while I'm doing this, just a, also a bit of an update on my beautiful trees. What about 4,000 trees that are growing in these trays? So they're looking really, really, well, they're starting to actually germinate, which is really, really good. Some of them are really, really tiny. You can just see them there, all different trees. Around 40 different species of trees. Grasses, native grasses and so forth. So they're coming up, fellas. Beautiful eucalyptus trees and hakeas and casarinas and so much more. So every day I come out now, I'm starting to see beautiful little trees. What I starting to sprout which is really amazing and even for kids to see that guys it's you know it's a lifetime memory you know I remember this beautiful fig tree like I said previously when I planted this tree with my mum in around 1980 you know that tree was as big as this water bottle there's a photo of me mum sitting in front of this tree and it's probably as big as that water bottle maybe twice as big I'll show you this one day hopefully if I can get it my sister's got it but but yep like I say fellas it's just a beautiful learning experience especially for kids and even if you haven't got kids if you struggle try and get outside and grow your own vegetables fellas honestly it's it will add up eventually it'll save you money and it keeps your mind occupied but anyway guys just a bit of a rant I didn't plan on making this video it's unrehearsed and I'm struggling today, fellas, struggling. Just a little bit of butterflies in my stomach. You know, memories and guilt. That's it, right there's a, got some beautiful avocados coming up finally. It's taken ages for them to break that surface. Hopefully they'll survive. But yeah, but anyway, guys, like I say, I'm struggling today because when I upload my videos talking about my own private life and memories and the things I do, childhood experiences, it's a huge, um, it's a huge thing, fellas, to reveal your secrets, your private life to people all over the world, especially when you know that, you know, friends, family, and people who don't like you, who you know, are watching your videos. Um, but and it takes a toll on your fellas. But I tell you what, if any of you guys suffer from anxiety, depression, mental illness, any anything, guys, physical, mental, you know, honestly, if you want to heal, this has saved me, fellas, by what I do on YouTube, just by talking about my life. I'm a, 
you know, I mean, it does get to me. It really does affect me sometimes, fellas. But like I say, I'll leave all those videos I've uploaded because they're going to tell us my story. And one day, fellas, I'm going to be dead. Who cares? It's, you know, who cares what people think? You know, those people who see all your private secrets and troubles have got their own problems too. You know, we've all got our own problems. So just, a, you know, kind of tip, fellas, try and build the courage to open up and talk about your own life. You know, talk about it, because I promise you it will help you get better. It really will help you find that light at the end of the tunnel, you know. Because, um, yeah, it, speaking from experience, fellas, it just really, really will. But it's up to you what you want to reveal. There's so many more things that I've got on my kitchen plate, fellas, but I'll never, ever reveal. You know, I'd love to. Maybe if YouTube's around in my 70s or whatever, maybe I will then. But right now it's just too traumatic. It's too traumatic, fellas, to reveal too much. But, but yeah, but anyway, fellas, that's what I'm doing right now, planting a heap of beautiful vegetable seedlings for summer and like I say try and get some beautiful organic GMO seeds and just start growing your own veggies especially if you've got kids and especially if you struggle mentally and even physically get outside and get some exercise like I say fellas little pot that's all you need to grow your own vegetables and even beautiful trees for your kids. And take your kids for a walk out bush and go and collect beautiful tree seeds and start planting them, planting them all around your area. Even if you do it in secret without people knowing, fellas. And one day when those kids are in their 50s and 60s, imagine the beautiful memories they're gonna have to share with their kids. Anyway, guys, just a bit of a rant, but like I say, struggling a little bit today. But I'll get there, well, you know, just by forcing myself outside now and doing this. It'll be a huge reward. <clears throat> and like a lot of you guys know, I'm a Christian, fellas, you know, now. <laughs> and I even thank God, guys. I thank God for these struggles that I have. Because it's just part of life. We've all got a struggle. And I thank God because it's... Um, just a huge life lesson, fellas. We've all got a struggle in life. I'm not doing this to try and be inspirational or not. Just to try and help people, that's all. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your beautiful comments, and I'll catch up to the comments very, very shortly. Even just the comments I get, fellas, can be overwhelming. So... All right, fellas, that's my beautiful magpie, Nipper. He's inside while I'm planting these vegetables, guys. Usually he roams my yard, but if I'm planting seeds and vegetables, all he wants to do is play, and you hop up on this wheelbarrow and start pecking his beak in the soil and grabbing all my seeds and spreading them all around the, <laughs> all around the yard. So, all right, fellas, and this is just a bit of perlite. What I'm going to mix them with this soil to give the soil some nice aeration. Thanks for watching, everyone. Boring video, but I hope it kind of inspires you a little bit to get off your arse and start planting some beautiful vegetable seeds. And just remember, guys, they don't want us to grow vegetables, so think about it. They want you to eat that poisonous GMO chemical, pesticide and herbicide saturated food. So when you open up your fridge snacks and Grab an apple, have a good look at it. Broccoli, cauliflower, have a really good look at that. Fruit and vegetables, guys, and think about what you're eating. It's poison. See you, fellas. Bye.